Having these three things I'm going to tell you guys about is essential to becoming a better player overall and it will improve your editing speeds and building speeds to make your mechanics top tier. I will also be showing you some tips and drills you can practice to improve at all of them. So the first one I'm going to be going over is edit timing. Edit timing has got to be the most crucial thing to improve your editing speeds. Editing timing is basically when you select a blue tile on your build and confirming it. Now a more advanced version of this is where you need to be able to select a edit tile and then select your select bind at the same time so that you have a gray tile pop up instantly which will lower your editing time making you a faster editor. To practice this, I suggest playing a map I found which will drastically help you improve as an editor and become a faster player. The code is shown at the top of the screen so make sure you check it out there as it will drastically improve if you practice this constantly. The next thing you need to do is being able to have good crosshair placement. When you see pro players like Polarize, Re, and Clicks have really good piece control and they're able to do edit courses without messing up frequently is because they have a good crosshair placement. Good crosshair placement is when the crosshair in the middle of your screen makes very minimal movement when editing multiple times. Here's an example of good crosshair placement. As you can see, the crosshair is barely moving when I'm editing these tiles. Now here's a bad example of crosshair placement. As you can see, my crosshair is going all over the place while I'm editing. Now why does this matter if I'm still hitting my edits and I'm not messing up? Well, if you're trying to improve your editing speeds and becoming a faster player overall, you want to be able to edit faster with little to no mess ups. And having good crosshair placement does just that. Now if you want to practice this, head over to this map where you can practice your crosshair placement using the outlines that are given to you, which will drastically improve your crosshair placement. Now last but not least, your movement. If you're a controller player, you automatically have better movement than keyboard players, but a lot of you guys don't know about that and your brain tricks you into thinking that keyboard players automatically have better movement. But no matter what you play on, keyboard, controller, or whatever else there is, having good movement is critical to being a good player and being fast and having good mechanics. Here's a few movement tactics you can try to improve your movement. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video and if you guys want more tip videos just like this one, make sure you let me know in the comment section below and if you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and drop me a sub if you're new and I will catch you guys in the next one.